reached Bustaya Mountain. Before you go getting into trouble, I have an update on the diseased lynx that Anatoly was testing. It wasn't diseased after all. It was poisoned. Based on the chemicals found in the lynx's blood, we are talking pre-war industrial waste. Another ghastly substance unearthed as the permafrost thaws. Thanks to us, the state is assembling a crisis team to clean up the area. But before we go congratulating ourselves for that, you're danger close to the albino's domain, as the Americans say. Do you see tracks? Droppings? Bears only make that sound when they're in pain. Like the pain you might be in if you had two rounds of buckshot in your chest. Wonderful discovery. This Bronze Age painting is one of our local Easter eggs. The people who painted these were ancient hunters just like you, but millennia ago with no guns and no hunter mate. Keep your eyes open for more of this as you explore the taiga. They are rare finds. Albino. But this is no way to survive. I can only imagine the pain he must be in. Please, end his suffering. I knew that the albino was still out there. Ever since that day, I felt this chain, linking my pain to the albino's pain. Every night, dreaming of my albino counterpart, roaming the wilderness, starving and driven mad by a chest full of steel. Such pain. No wonder he attacked those animals without eating them. This may sound disingenuous, but I actually felt more pity for the albino than for myself. 
Now the bear has peace. Maybe I can find peace too. All because of you. One more thing while you're up there. There is a peak nearby at Pustatele Gara. A picture perfect place to gaze out over the taiga. You have done so much for me. The least I can offer in return is that breathtaking view. And now that the albino is gone, you can safely enjoy the hike there. <laughs>